All right, so we're going to take a look again at archived files and file archives are basically a collection of files that are put together in one compressed file that allows for easier uh, use on the internet. Um, what it does is it cuts down the total amount of space or size of the files themselves, which makes it easier for them to be emailed or uploaded, any variety of things. Now, there are multiple types of uh, archived file types. Uh, one is called 7-Zip. It has an icon like this. You see it's a little box. 7-Zip um, also has a unique newer one, um, a zip file, which has this folder with a zipper on it. And then, of course, RAR files, which are more common now than, than anything, which is just this stack of books with a belt around it uh, holding it tight. Um, so th this same rule applies for any and all of them. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at how to utilize them um, and get the stuff that you want out of them. So whenever you get a compressed archive like this, what you're going to want to do is you can either double click it. And what that will do is bring up the actual program itself. And the only thing that you're ever going to really want to worry about is extraction. So we want to extract the files that are in this archive out of it into a usable place. So in this case, this folder, excuse me, this archive that you I've got here, you'll see is in my downloads folder. By default, every archive program will um, unpack or extract those files to the folder that you're already in with its own folder name. And what I mean by that is, is this is going to automatically put this new folder called OSI model named after the stuff that's in it in a new folder inside downloads. So that way I don't have to go searching for it. It will always be in the same place that I have the archive. So I'm going to go ahead and tell it, okay, it's going to unpack them. And now I've got this new folder with all of those documents in it that I needed. So it's, un it's uh, uncompressed them into their own folder. Another way to do this is to right click and when you right click, you're going to see this menu. And all you're going to want to do is click extract files. The same exact menu will come up. It's just smaller. And it just says exactly where it's going to be stored. And you just click OK and it will extract them right there. So that will allow you then to have access to the files themselves from the archive and you can open them, you can move them, you can drag them over and drop them into whatever uh, folders that you actually want to be the permanent place for them. And then you can delete that archive um, directly from your computer since you won't need it anymore. So that process again is going to be the same whether you're using WinZip or 7-Zip or WinRAR, any of these compressed file archives, um, it's they're pretty obvious when you go to open them because it will open up a screen showing the stuff that's inside and offering you an opportunity to extract or unzip them. Um, so uh, that process will be pretty much the same no matter what of those programs you'll be using. So I hope that helps. Um, if you have questions, let me know.